Hi, welcome to Nightbird Tarot. My name is Brooke and welcome to your February 2015 tarot forecast. These are generalized tarot readings for the general public view. If you'd like a more in-depth private reading with me, you can check out my website at the link below. You're always free to email me at nightbirdtarot at gmail.com. I do offer a variety of tarot readings. They range in price from $15 to $95, which is Typically, the $15 ones are a five-card reading, five-card spread, kind of like what I do for your monthlies, and then they go up, and the $95 ones in that range are more of the three-part, four-part divination, where I do different types of divination with the readings other than the tarot, so check them out, and I offer them an email format, audio format, Skype, and manuscript format. Also check out my Etsy shop too because I offer different readings on Etsy. Also I make jewelry and other little whimsical tarot things, so check that out. This reading is for Leo, and Leo, I hope you had a great month in January. Astrologically for February at the end of January, beginning January 21st, Mercury went wet wet well weighed, <laughs> retrograde in the sign of Aquarius, and it goes direct February 11th, right before Valentine's Day, thank goodness, and the full moon falls on February 3rd, and it's a snow moon for February, so Leo, let's begin, I pre-shuffled your cards right before the video, and your cards are pretty significant for the month of February. Many Leos for the month are going to experience change. That is the theme for February. In your atmospheric elements position or the attributes for the month, you do have the major arcana card and it's the death card. Now death in the tarot deck does not symbolize actual physical death. This is more of a symbol, symbolic transition of things are ending, things are changing, the old ways of living or the old ways of things are ending, something is going to begin anew. Leos might find themselves in a period of transformation this month. You may also find yourself ending something. There may be a cycle that is changing for you. And you may really be feeling this transition for the month of February where, wow, how I was living two years ago, I'm not living that way anymore. I'm living this way. So everything that I once knew is has ended. And you might really be feeling that this month. You may really be feeling this transformation. You may really be feeling this major overhaul or major major change of your life for the month of February. This can also signify endings of some kind as well. But this is a very symbolic, spiritual, transformative kind of card. And this is your atmospheric elements for the month of February. Now what's interesting is, following this card, you do have another major arcana card, and it's the world. The world is all about completion, and this is a completion of some kind of achievement for Leos for the month of February. It's kind of coming full circle with things in your life, and it's, a, it's an achievement on a it can be even an achievement on a global level as well, but something that's impacted or something that's affecting other people. But it's a card of success. It's a card of triumph. So for many Leos for the month of February, you may be reaching the pinnacle or reaching a goal or reaching a, a successful effort of some kind in your life for the month. So with this card, as your attributes, your elements for the month, Leos, that's a pretty big card. And then with this card, it kind of culminates the fact that 
things have come full circle for you and what you once new no longer exists, so to speak, if you know what I mean. Now for many Leos who are working hard or working towards a, pro a goal or wanting to pro progress, I can't speak, or wanting to progress in a certain area of your life, you do have the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is a card of slow, steady progress especially when it comes to work, especially when it comes to financial endeavors. And this can be applicable to other areas of your life as well, relationships. This can be applicable to long-term goals, efforts, something that you're working hard on, something that you are progressing towards, something that you're working towards. The goal is attainable, okay, and you're starting to see progress with this this month. So this card is a reminder of don't give up. You're going to start to see progress from your efforts as this card is noted. So the message is to you, Leos, this month, it's slow. It's not going to happen overnight. Don't give up. Your, your rewards are going to be reaped. Your efforts are going to be noticeable pretty soon. So whatever you are working towards, Leos, you will start to see results and this possibly could be happening for you for the month of February. Now you do have this wonderful card of joy and it's the Ten of Cups and I like this card this is the Robin Wood tarot deck and the Ten of, card, Ten of Cups card in this deck is very beautiful because it's a family depicted Everyone's happy, the rainbow, the cups surrounding them. They're fulfilled. It's a card of fulfillment. So I think for many Leos, for the month of February, you're feeling fulfilled in relationships. You're feeling fulfilled in family relationships. You're feeling fulfilled around others. Others are fe feeling fulfilled as well. And it's a card of support. This could be family support. This could be friendships. This could be supportive relationships. This could be supportive marriages. This could be supportive partnerships, romantic relationships. But it's a real sense of joy and contentment for Leos for the month of February. And Leos, that's a very positive card to see. So whatever major changes or whatever is happening in your life where things have come full circle for you, I think out of spinning out of that is this card of contentment for you and of finally perhaps feeling as if where you are is where you belong and you may not have felt that for some time so you're really feeling like you're in the right place or you're in the right position or you're in the right relationship or you're going in the right direction and you're really going to be feeling that for the month of February. Now, Leo's, for your outcome position, which is pretty fascinating to me, you have a major arcana card again, and it's the Fool. And the Fool is relatable to the number zero, and it's all about infinite possibilities. This is the adventurous side of the Tarot. This is stating to you, Leo's, that whatever you are wanting to possibly take a risk upon, now is the time and you may really start to do that this month whatever it is you want to kind of leap into the unknown about now is the time just be careful about where you're walking or where you're treading and to kind of plan ahead so to speak but this card is about adventure this card is about risk taking this card is about infinite possibilities of what possibly could be and this card is also representative of the unknown. So whatever Leo's may be thinking about, whatever Leo's may be wanting to do this month, you do have this card of infinite possibilities at your disposal for the month of February, which is a very exciting card. Because in the beginning of your reading, you have the ultimate change or transformation that may be taking place. And it's leading you to something. It's leading you to possibly new adventures in your life, possibly 
awakening a part of yourself that may have been asleep for too long or a part of yourself that perhaps has not really revealed itself, that you're finally awakening, you're finally taking a leap of faith or taking a chance in your life. So this is what this card represents. So keep me posted, Leos. Let me know how it goes for the month of February. I'll be back um, around February 3rd for your full moon love forecast. And it's Valentine's Day for February, so they'll be extra spicy, the full moon love forecast. So, Leos, thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscriptions. And like me on my Facebook page, uh, www.facebook.com slash Tarot. You can tweet me on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter. I'll follow you back. Check out my Etsy shop. I'm on Pinterest. Check out my website. Uh, what else am I on? I'm not on Tumblr. And I'm not on all these different little other websites. I can only handle so much, okay? But like me on my Facebook page, um, everybody, because every now and then I get the urge and I do free mini readings for the people that like my Facebook page. So heads up, if you like the Facebook page, you're going to see possibly opportunities for free readings, You'll get to see the things that I post each day, little inspirations. So check it out, Leos. Have a great month for February. I'll be back in March. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.